Hi and welcome back to another episode from Flying Eye Studios. This time we're going to work in Adobe Photoshop CC and well, we are going to make a black and white photograph except a specific color in the image. In this case we are going to save all this yellow egg from the rest of the image. And by doing this we are going to go up to select, go down to color range. What we are going to do here is to work with the fastness and range to uh, exclude as many colors as we can except the yellow part here in the middle. So we are going to change the selection pre preview to black ma ma matte and we are going to work right now with the fastness. And as you can see what happens when we are uh, decreasing this bar is that we are uh, letting Adobe uh, we are letting the <laughs> Photoshop to exclude as many colors as they possibly can when we are decreasing. So we're going to press this yellow egg and by press holding down the shift key we can select uh, several colors and by doing this we are also letting fo Photoshop uh, let, uh, giving them more colors to work with around. So we are going to decrease the fastness again to exclude as many colors as we can. But as you can see, we are also uh, decreasing colors here in the middle of the egg. So what we are going to do uh, instead is that we are going to press the localized color cluster. And we are going to, well, work with the range uh, and the fastness so that we can simply uh, just ignore as many colors around as possible. So right now I'm going to decrease and as you can see, we are pretty much ignoring every color uh, except this yellow little, little image. But as you can see, oops, as you can see we are also having uh, some yellow parts around. And this is uh, not too bad. Uh, we can change this, change this later. And uh, well, I will show you how by pressing right now uh, the invert key, by the way, and pressing OK. I go down uh, here to the adjustment layers and going to press the, the black and white. And as you can see, we are right now uh, giving uh, the background layer a mask that are black and white, of course. And as you can see, we have a little part of yellow up here. So we want to zoom in by holding down Alt key and the, use the zoom wheel. And we're going to uh, press the uh, brush tool. Oops, little. <laughs> too big size of the brush. So, and we are going to have the white color to delete this yellow uh, color in the image. And I'm going to use the hardness of 100%, by the way. And just deleting this part as it, that is over. So, of course, you can make this uh, as detailed as you want by zooming in and, well, just do this so precisely as possible. And uh, well, while I'm talking, I can't do this <laughs> so good as I want. But as you also can see, we are having a bit of gray uh, color uh, in the case that it should be yellow. So we are going to change the color to black and just uh, drag it inside to make the gray part uh, yellow again. And we can also drag here at the outside to uh, just increase the yellow parts as you can see. So, and I'm feeling pretty, uh, oops, as you can see we're also having some yellow parts down here. So just do the same again, change the white color and just delete this part. And so, and right now I'm feeling pretty happy with the result actually. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And I'm going to call it for this time. If you have any questions at all, just comment below the video. And I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial and learned something new. And if you did, did feel that you learned something, uh, please like the video, share with your friends, and uh, well, follow my channel. And I hope, to, I hope I see you to my next tutorial. And uh, have a great time.